Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be a follow-up to the video that I did at the very beginning of September. And I was calling it my September Sample Project Month. And basically what I did is I went through all of my samples, because we all know we get so many samples accumulated. And I went through and I pulled out all of my foil packs of samples. And I set up a challenge for myself to go through and use up all of those foil packs during the month of September. And I had pulled out, I think my original video I had between 75 and 78. I don't remember the exact number. But as the month progressed, I kept finding more samples tucked around, you know, my makeup drawers here, there, and everywhere. So anyway, um, what I've done is I have broken it down by category, and I'll tell you how many I used up in that category, and then I'll kind of um, just touch on maybe some of the highlights of that category. I'm not going to go through every single one of them, because I actually ended up using 113 samples for the month of September, so... That was a lot, and I think I have pretty much made it through all of my foil packs, unless there's some um, laying around that I just haven't come across yet. And I figured the, the um, value on those was around $75. So anyway, we'll kind of get started, and we'll start with this category first, which was the um, cleansing oils. And the cleansing oils I used um, to take off my makeup. And I used a total of three of those. I had a Bosha, a Atacha, oh, actually I used up four, I miscounted, another Bosha, and then a Bliss, a Bliss one. And I will tell you out of all of these, um, probably the one that I liked the most was the Bosha, but I didn't like this as well as I like the one that I used from Sephora, the Sephora brand, or the MAC cleanse off oil so I definitely won't be purchasing any of these but, but they were nice and I know like the Tasha the Tasha one is real expensive so I'm going to stick with my Sephora or my MAC cleanse off oils okay the next category that I have pulled out here is foundations and I used up six uh, different foundations I had a, um, a by Terry one um, an Urban Decay and a Chanel and then a Bobbi Brown. I don't know, there was a, an Hourglass one. And I will tell you, from all of those, there wasn't really any of those that stood out enough for me to go out and purchase it or even put it on a wish list. Um, I didn't feel like any of these worked as good as my IT Cosmetics CC Cream, so I'm going to just continue using that. All right, the next one, the next category, what is this? I think this is um, scrubs. So scrubs, yes. And I use, I'm referring back to my notes. I have my notes all right here as far as how many I used and that stuff. Um, the scrubs, I had seven of those. Um, there was some from the Lancer Method. It was okay. There was um, the Dr. Brandt. Uh, Michael Derbrasion. This is a really good one. It's got very, very, very fine particles in it, and I felt this really worked very well. But my favorite one out of all of those, and I have probably have said that I like this a lot anyway, and that's this um, Kate Somerville, the um, Exfoliate. This to me, hands down, is one of the best exfoliators that I have used. Um, you put it on your face, you rub it around a little bit, and then you let it set for a couple of minutes, and you can feel the enzymes in it working to break down that dead skin off of your face. And then um, once it's set for a few minutes, you add a little bit of water, you scrub around some more, and then rinse it, and your face feels so smooth and just beautiful. I mean, it's just like getting new skin on your face. So um, definitely going to have that on my wish list for the VIB sale. I think I still have a couple of <clears throat> tubes of it that I've gotten like when they have a 100 point perk at Sephora or someplace like that. 
So definitely, definitely do um, enjoy using that. Okay, the next one that we'll talk about is the mask. And I used 13 packets of different masks. And I will tell you the one that stood out the most to me that I definitely am putting on my Sephora VIB wish list. And that's from Tatcha Harper. And it's resurfacing mask for an instant glow. I don't know if we'll be able to even see that. But anyway, this guy right here, you put it on. It was like a gel. You put it on. You leave it on for like 15, 20 minutes. And then you rinse it off. Oh, beautiful. Left your face absolutely, positively beautiful. And then the other one that I used that I really, really did like and I'm going to purchase during the VIB sale. And that's the um, the First Day Beauty, the Ultra Repair Hydro Firm Sleeping Cream. Definitely going to be buying that. Um, another one that I liked that was kind of a surprise to me that I liked. And that was this right here. And it was a little eye mask from the Glam Glow, the Bright Mud. And I was able to, on this, I know it says on this little packet that there's cream for the left eye, cream for the right eye, or a mask. But I ended up just using half of this little container on each eye. So I got two uses is what I'm trying to say out of this instead of just one. So definitely would recommend using or checking that out. Put these back in there. Okay, let's go on to uh, moisturizers. This was a big category. I used up a total of 23 packets of moisturizer because you know I was using the moisturizers morning and night. And let's see which ones was good to me. I really liked this one from Lancome. This was the uh, Regener 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 Lift Multi Action. I wish I could get that to focus to where you could see it. Maybe you can see it right there. Anyway, I had several of these. I think I had like seven of these. This was a really, really good face cream. Um, especially at night. You wake up the next morning and your face is just so soft and smooth and just feels so good and just feels very, like almost like a satin feel to it. So I definitely liked it. But consider purchasing it. And then another one that I used that I really, really did like is the Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. And I just felt like this was a really good cream to use of the morning time before you put your makeup on. I just felt like it really helped to fill in the lines and the crevices and the pores of your face and just help to create a very nice smooth canvas to start putting on your um, foundation. So those two were probably my favorite out of all of these that I used. So I had 23 of those. And then I had a few of the um, peels that I use. I have six of those, which of course, you know, the Dr. Dennis Gross, I have talked about this time and time again. This is a two-step. This is the alphabet appeal. This is the extra strength formula. They have different strengths. They have one for sensitive skin, a regular one, and the extra strength. I recommend that if you can tolerate it just to get the extra strength, use this a couple of times a week. Just wonderful for your skin. Really helps with discoloration and help to get a nice um, brightened complexion. And then the other ones that I used was was from Ola Henriksen, and this is the Power Bright, the twenty, the true, bleh, the Truth 25% Vitamin C Concentrate, and I used several of those, and I did like that too. I felt like I could really feel this. Um, working as far as you know breaking down that barrier on your skin and, and really penetrating to help lighten those dark spots okay the next one that I have is the cleansers and I used 17 cleansers and there was I think out of all of these a couple that I liked one being these from the Nude line. This is the Nude Detox Brightening, Brightening Fizzy Powder Wash. If you have not tried a powder wash, you need to go to Sephora 
or online and you can order a little small one from Tatcha. And that little small one will last you a good month because it doesn't take very long. But while it is, it's just a powder. You add water to it and use it to cleanse your face. Those powder washes are amazing. Not only do they cleanse, but they're also exfoliating. They're also creating a very... Helping with that texture and the roughness of your skin and just help to create a very nice smooth smoothness to your skin. So I definitely recommend some of the powder washes and there's different brands there's nude um, tatcha josie marion has one um, a more pacific has one there's there's several companies several lines several brands that have the cleansing powders that i recommend that you definitely definitely try a cleansing powder and then the other one that i really did like and I'm actually considering purchasing this during the VIB sale. And that's from Kate Summersville. And this is the Exfolicate Cleanser. This had a lot of um, vitamin C's and en different enzymes in it. So not only was it cleansing, but I felt like it was helping to really break down you know, that dead skin on your face. And I really did like that. I'm going to consider purchasing that, like I said. Okay, we're almost done. And then I had uh, some eye creams. Let's see, the eye creams, I used 13 different eye creams. And out of all of these, I still feel that my, my Bobbi Brown, the extra uh, repair cream was the best as far as moisturization. Now, I don't feel like this does anything for brightening or for firming or for lifting, but for just strictly moisturizing, and that is what I need the most under my eyes because I have very, very, very dry under eyes. And definitely like these. I have gone through a full jar of this, actually, and will definitely be repurchasing that. Another one that I felt was a good close second to the Bobbi Brown um, was this one here by Clinique and it was the Repair Wear Laser Focus. And this one is a wrinkle correcting eye cream. And if you're wanting something that's for correction, then I would recommend that one from Clinique. All right, then I had some serums and the serums, I had nine different serums that I used and I don't recall, to be honest with you, I don't recall any that I felt like was just over the top other than this one. And this is the um, Ola Henriksen Vitamin C Brightening Serum right here. Um, I don't think I'm going to be purchasing this though because I want to try the Vitamin C Serum that is from Drunk Elephant. But this is a definitely a good alternative to that as far as cost-wise goes. So think about getting this, the Ola Henriksen Vitamin C Brightening Serum, during the sale. The Sephora sale is coming up. So I used that. I had a couple of vitamins from Ollie. I had two vitamin sample packs that I used. And then I had a hair, a hair oil. And this is from the Agave. I don't really care for this, so um, I still feel like the one that I get from Kerastase works the best for my hair, but I know there's a lot of people that really like the agave hair oil, so you might try and get a sample of it to try. Okay, then I used up a couple of face oils. I think I had two of those, and one was from the Nude um, line, the Nude Treatment Oil. It was okay, nothing too spectacular. I don't even know if Sephora even carries the nude line anymore because I've seen a lot of the nude products on the clearance page. I also used this one. This was a sleeping oil from, what brand was this? Corez, 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 it was okay, I didn't really care for it. I didn't like it any better than I like the Sunday Riley sleeping oil, but this one might be 
less expensive than the sleek, the Sunday Raleigh, but I'm not for sure. Then of course I use a fresh sea berry um, oil. Um, I've talked about this a lot of times. It was this little tube right here. It's a really, really good face oil. I do recommend it, especially if you're just getting started with ace oils. It's a nice um, introductory oil. And then I have some primers that I used. Makeup primers. I had four of those. And um, nothing that great. I had one from It Cosmetics, Becca, Chanel, and Amazing Cosmetics. None that just really stood out to me that I felt really helped the skin or even helped the makeup to stay on. So not any that I'm going to be uh, purchasing. And then I had some, I had a toner. I did finish one toner and this is from Guerlain and this was a moisturizing toning lotion and it was okay. I didn't really care for it, but I did use that. And then I used up some perfumes. I had the black opium and the um, Marchesa, Marchesa, a little sample of that, a vial, and then I had a Chanel. This was the new um, Chance that's out, the newest one, and then um, from Tom Ford, the white patchouli. And out of all of those, I liked the Tom Ford, the white patchouli the best. I always would receive compliments when I would wear that, um, but I'm not going to go and re you know, purchase it because it's just so expensive and you can find lots of perfumes out there on the market that have, you know, the patchouli in them. That would probably give you the same scent at a fraction of the cost. Anyway, so that is it. That is what I finished. I felt like I did a really, really good job. I got all of those out and I know my husband's going to be really excited because I've had these all piled up on my vanity in the bathroom. So now I get to throw them all away in the trash and done. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and let me know in the comments below what samples you used up for the month of September and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.